Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7. We are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Firefighter Mod video today. We're going to roleplay as firefighters with the Los Angeles Fire Department. We're currently at station number 88 and we have a report of people injured after a scaffolding collapse at a construction site. So, the life force has already responded. The life force consisted of engine 288 as well as ladder truck 88. So, they're already en route. We're going to go ahead and finish up the task force and respond with engine 88 as well as urban search and rescue 88. So, let's go ahead and hop in and get to the scene as soon as possible so we can help out all of the people that are trapped and pinned under all of that debris. So, let's get going. Alright guys, we are pulling up on scene. Looks like LAPD has the area shut down. Okay, here we go guys. Let's go ahead and see what we are working with. First thing I'm going to do is actually get some more gear on. So let's get our... All right, so we have our turnout gear minus our pack. And let's get to work and let's see what we are able to do here. So we have command 42s here, uh, rescue ambulance 88, engine 288, trucks 88. They already responded from our station. We also have station nine, engine nine is here as well. All right, so let's just do a quick assess of the situation here. Let's figure out what's going on. Okay. Got this guy in this car here. Looks like this fell and smashed up his car, but he looks to be okay. Oh, wow. I got this guy over here. All right, looks like they had to use the jaws of life and they cut the roof off, so he should be able to get out here in a second. Paramedics are here treating some of these people. Treating. Okay. You gotta be extremely careful because none of this stuff is stable and this stuff could fall and more stuff could fall at any moment. So, gotta be careful. Alright, looks like nobody's in that vehicle. Somebody in this. Okay, I see somebody in this one. We're gonna have to try to get them out. 
All right, more scaffolding collapse. We got a guy in this one. He looks like he is aware and conscious. That's good. LAPD has this side blocked off. This is crazy. It looks like some construction workers may have been on the scaffolding when it fell as well. Okay, she looks okay. Anybody in this one? All right, nobody's in that one. That one looked like it got smashed up pretty good. There is. Somebody's in this one over here. Yeah, someone's in there. She looked like she passed out. She's out. I got a lady over here that looks like she's out. So let's start working on some of these people here. See if we could bring her back. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> I thought we got stuck there for a second. This is a crazy call, though. Okay. Alright, we're able to get her back. So let's get her to one of the rescues so she can get transported out of here or get at least checked out first and then transported. Okay, so let's get her out of here. Looks like we have another male down right here too, so we're going to come back and try to treat this guy. And hopefully by the time we get these two out of here, um, the other units will be done cutting these guys out. We can try to get them all out of the vehicle. Looks like Truck 88 has their ladder up. Alright, where's that ambulance? Okay, let's get her into the ambulance here. So we're going to transfer her off to these guys. They're going to take her to the pillbox. Alright, perfect. What the heck? Oh, the blimp is flying overhead. I'm like, why is it getting all dark all of a sudden? Alright, I saw another guy down, so let me go grab him. And get him out of here. Alright, so I'm going to put this guy into the ambulance. Actually, no, I forgot. This guy's not even up yet, so... Oh! Didn't mean for it to drop him so hard like that, but... Let's place him down, and let's see if we could get him back up now. And we'll transfer him to the paramedics. So far, so good. We're gonna need another ambulance for him. I don't need the socialized police to be a scum like you. All right, EMTs are here. We'll get them transferred to this one. All right, so they're gonna take him and transport him out. Let's see if we get some of these other people out of here. All right, let's just help this guy get out. Alright, got him out. Let's get him to the paramedics and I can take a look at him. Alright, let's go 
grab some more. Alright, he's been working on this guy for a little while. I think there's another construction worker somewhere, actually. I remember seeing somebody else. Or did we get him up? I don't know. Here he is. I see him. Alright, let's get this guy. Like he's trying to cut him out over there. This is just a really crazy scene. Like this is something we have never responded to in GTA 5 before. Okay, there we go. Now it'd be really cool, like in single player, if we had like a working stretcher and stuff like that. We do have one in multiplayer though. If you guys haven't been on the Cuff server or seen any of our videos, definitely check them out. We do have a working um, stretcher that we're able to take out of ambulance and put patients on and then put back into the ambulance. So that's pretty cool. And we have a, a couple other cool mods that make this a little bit more realistic. All right, let's get them to the ambulance. Make sure you guys keep track of how many people we've treated so far too. Oh, I kind of lost count. I think we're up. To, I think this is the fourth guy we rescued. Let me know in the comment section how many people we saved today. All right. So let's see who else needs our help. Let's try to get some of these people out of cars. I, I think this guy is out now. So let's get him out. This guy seems to be okay. He didn't pass out or anything, but still we're gonna let the paramedics check him out. And let's see, who else needs help? So we got that person, we got that person. I think we're up to more than, I don't know, I lost count, but we, we definitely helped a good amount of people so far. I have no idea where my guy's going right now. I was trying to deal with that guy over there, but I guess my guy has other plans. Okay, we're just gonna slide right in there. <laughs> that was funny. Don't mind that. Okay, so we got her up. Now I'm gonna have to get her out the vehicle. <laughs> How you feeling, ma'am? You okay? Ten four, copy that. Two, I don't know. Seven. I don't know what I just asked for, but okay. Alright ma'am, I'm gonna get you to the ambulance so they can take a look at you, alright? Right this way. I still have so many people down right now, this is just crazy. I wonder what floor did this stuff fall off of as well. And it definitely came down with a lot of force, like it smashed these cars up like they were nothing. Alright, whoops. Alright, so this was the guy I was trying to get up. Let's try him again. Nope, I'm going to somebody else. <laughs> I guess we just don't want to help that guy out. Alright, they should be done cutting this guy out, so let me see if I could open the door and get him out. There we go. Alright, got him out. 
All right, sir, how you feeling? You okay? All right, we're going to get you to the ambulance. They're going to check you out, okay? The paramedics and AMT is just going to make sure you're okay. Oh, I keep forgetting we're by the ammunition shooting range, so every time I hear those gunshots, I'm like, oh, shoot, who's shooting at us? There's another one. I think we got mostly everybody out. We still got these two. Ouch. We still got these two construction guys. I weren't I wasn't able to get them up, but let me try again and see if it works. Yeah, it won't start. Actually I think there's another way. I could also try like this too maybe. Oh uh, no. Yeah, these guys, I'm not able to pick them up for some reason, but I'll just take them to the paramedics. Alright, you guys, let's put this guy in the front of the line. He's still passed out. Oh, he's he's okay. So I was he? I don't know, it's weird. I guess that's why I couldn't do CPR, because he was secretly fine. So I'm guessing the same thing with this guy, too. Yep, he's fine. Alright, so that's why I was unable to do CPR on them. They were fine. I forgot to mention earlier in the video, but all of the mods I am using today, I will link them down below in the video description. So a huge thank you to everybody that everybody who has made these mods and make it possible for me to make these type of videos so thank you guys so much all of the mod creators out there oh slip and fell again all right um this car is empty that car is empty oh we got a lady trapped here let's get her out get you out okay ma'am there we go got her Alright, uh. Alright, just stay right there. Let's see if I could jump over this to get us out of here. There we go. I think we rescued everybody guys. Let's um do another check to make sure. So taxi's clear. This silver benefactor's clear. Red car here is clear. Uh this one over here is also clear, correct? Yep, clear. This car is clear, that car is clear. All of these scaffolding is all clear over here. Nobody's trapped underneath this stuff. Oh, we still got one lady. Alright, we gotta get her out. Everybody else? I think that's the last person we have trapped. Oh no, we have this guy too. Alright, we got two people that we still have to rescue. So let's get her out. She seems okay. She's already up. We're gonna still let her get checked out though. So we have one more guy and then we would have rescued everybody. So we also do have teams up there making sure that the rest of the scaffolding is secure and that nothing else falls. But this is crazy. This construction company is probably gonna get sued. Part of this. I don't know, maybe it wasn't their fault, maybe it was like a freak accident, maybe it was, I mean it was really windy today, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is, this is a really big mess though, I wonder how they're going to clean this stuff up. Alright, last guy's in this one. Let's go ahead and get him out. I'm moving to Vice City.
All right, so that's all of our patient guys. Let me know in the comment section if you're keeping track of how many people we saved. All of these people here, plus I think there was two more people that got transported by the ambulance. Let me know how many people we have saved. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me report to the battalion chief. Hey, chief. Um, or I guess they, I don't, do they call them battalion chiefs too over there? Or just chiefs, I'm not too sure. Or commands, I don't know. But hey, chief, um, I can report all victims are accounted for we did get everybody out of all of the vehicles everybody that was pinned in we got them out we had a couple uh pedestrians that were walking by that was also underneath the scaffolding we were able to get them out and we also had three construction workers that was on the scaffolding when it fell and we got them out as well so at this time we have no fatalities and everybody else is getting treated by the medics behind us Okay, so at this time, I'm just going to work on making sure everything's secure, all of the scaffolding is secure, and then, well, uh, I guess we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Alright, thanks. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to call out Ace Towing for this guy, as we have a lot of vehicles here that got smashed up pretty badly, and they're going to have to get dragged out of here and, and uh, towed out of here and everything like that. Now the construction company that operates here, they have the weirdest name, but the construction company is called STD Contractors. So uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to, I don't know, clean this up, or if not, we may have to contract another, contact another construction company. I know there's a new construction company called Ace Towing in town, so we may need them to come out and clean this up. But let me know in the comment section, would you guys like to see a video? of Ace Towing coming out here and cleaning up this mess or clean up the cars at least as far as all of this other stuff I don't know how that's gonna get cleaned up but yeah this was a fun one but yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's episode I really do hope you guys enjoy if you want to see some more of this LAFD pack this Los Angeles Fire Department pack definitely let me know by leaving some comments We'll run some regular fires and we'll do some regular calls with this pack as well because it looks pretty nice. Very nice. And we have a lot of different units to use. So we have Engine 9 from Skid Row. And then we have all of the Station 88 vehicles. So we have the Truck 88, which was from our station, as well as Command 42, which I believe was from our station too. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it has a, the station on it somewhere. I thought it did. Um, we also have 88, Rescue Amulus 88 was also from our station. 288 was from our station. 88 came with us, obviously, from our station, and we were in uh, Urban Search and Rescue 88. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'm also going to be doing some more confined space rescues as well. So make sure you guys look out for that. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, that way you will not miss any future videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!